Mourners gathered outside a cemetery in Tuba Zangarai in northern Israel on Monday for the funeral of 19-year-old Sergeant Yosef Heeb who was among four soldiers who were killed in a Hezbollah drone attack. On Sunday evening, the Israeli military said the troops died in the attack at an army base in the Binyamina area. It was the deadliest Hezbollah strike since Israel launched its ground invasion of Lebanon nearly two weeks ago. The Lebanon-based Hezbollah earlier claimed responsibility and called the attack retaliation for Israeli strikes on Beirut on Thursday that killed 22 people. Israel's National Rescue Service said the attack wounded 61. With Israel's advanced air defense systems, it's rare for so many people to be injured by drones or missiles. Hezbollah and Israel have traded fire almost daily in the year since the war in Gaza began, and fighting has escalated. In recent weeks, statements about the alleged intention of Ukrainian troops to break through the border with Belarus have been leaked from time to time from Belarus and through the aggressor country, Russia. Against this background, the Russian Federation is transferring ammunition to Belarus, probably preparing for the possibility that the army of Ukraine will try to move the war there as well. Ukrainian military expert Reserve Colonel Oleg Zdanov said about it in an interview with Glavred. According to him, the Kremlin supplies Lukashenko specifically with ammunition for aviation, of which Russian President Putin has a lot. It's difficult for him to remove infantry from the front because there's not enough of it now, but he can quite easily transfer an aviation brigade to Belarus and then shell Ukraine at long distances, he explained. The expert notes that, for example, the aggressor has thousands of X-59 missiles in warehouses and tens of thousands of smart bombs in general. Ukraine is still not able to cope with enemy bombs, so there is a possibility that the occupants will launch them from Belarus. If we start the operation in Belarus, smart bombs from the Belarusian territory will fly along the Ukrainian border for 100 to 110 kilometers. Zaitomir, Rivni, Volyn and Kyiv regions, as well as two nuclear power plants, Zdanov assumed. While Belarus, an ally of Russia, has not directly participated in the war, it has allowed the Kremlin to use its territory as a staging ground for its operations against Ukraine. Moscow stationed several MiG-31K aircraft in Belarus after the start of its full-scale war against Ukraine in 2022, launching missiles at Kyiv and other Ukrainian cities from its airfields. Russia frequently lifts MiG-31K aircraft from airfields on its territory to attack Ukraine. The advanced air-launched Kinzhal missile is difficult to intercept and shoot down. They have an operational range of some 2,000 kilometers, which means that all of Ukraine is at risk if the missile is launched from Russian airspace. Ukraine's Air Force said in January that air defenses had intercepted 25 out of 63 Kinzhal missiles since the start of the full-scale invasion. Two more Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian army. Relevant video footage has also been released. It is showed T in video the soldiers from the 79th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Federation, Mikhailov Alexei Valerievich and Maximov Ivan Sergeyevich. Former prisoners who signed the contract tell how Commander Colonel Efremov Maxim Nikolievich set up a conveyor belt for the disposal of prisoners that make up the regiment. After being wounded, they were not treated completely and were sent to storm again. They tell of cruel treatment in the 155th Separate Marine Brigade, people are shot, 
maimed, money is taken from their own. They call them Zex and drive them forward, hiding behind their backs. Instead of being killed by their own, these two made the only right decision. Having landed, they hid in the basement and voluntarily surrendered to the Ukrainians. Earlier, Russian soldiers complained that his commanders beat anybody they catch drinking alcohol, even though they regularly drink themselves. The UK Ministry of Defense said in April that Russian commanders were punishing soldiers for acts like drunkenness by putting them in rudimentary cells that were made from holes in the ground, covered with a metal grill. Ukraine has been sharing what it says is intercepted Russian audio since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. Those have included Russian soldiers seeming to describe how they had been sent to be killed, or were trying to get out of the war, along with extensive complaints about their commanders. Recall, Ukraine's military intelligence launched the I Want to Live project in 2022 to help Russian soldiers desert or defect to the Ukrainian side. 